we all want to fit in. We all want to be known and loved. I remember back in grade one, coming out onto the playground, seeing this group of girls over by the fence playing, and I went over just wanting to play with them. And I was confronted by this girl who came out and said, what is it, what do you have on your zipper? And I thought like, I don't know what's on my zipper. But if you didn't have the letters YYZ on your zipper, you weren't allowed to play with them. That's harsh. It was super harsh, but it was <laughs> the first like, time I remember YYZ realizing club. that there were clubs and that there were other people's judgments of you mattered, even when they were arbitrary and random and they got to decide what was in and what was out. And so when it's now dealing with our own children who are worried about making friends and concerned, I understand if you go back to your own childhood, remember what it was like on the schoolyard, walking into school, whatever that was for you. We have a lot of memories where we carry, where we were accepted or maybe we were rejected. Yeah, and I think with our own kids, one of the most important principles that I like to follow with our kids is identifying their strengths. I want my children to know what their strengths are because I want them to be confident about who they are. Uh, if they're not confident about who they are, they will go to school, they will go in other friendship groups, and they will gravitate to the, you know, to the cool crowd or the crowd that they want to learn something. You know, they want to learn more about what that crowd's about, and, and they don't want to be rejected. They don't want to feel that nobody does. But when we train our children, raise our children in such a way that they identify their strengths. They had, and and it's, not, it's not overly praising them for something that they're really not good at. We don't wanna to lie to our kids. We wanna be honest with our kids about what are they good at? What, what do they wanna pursue? What do they wanna learn more about? And then step out into the world and invite other people into that and hold their hand, walk alongside them as they do that. And I genuinely believe friends come along and gravitate towards that and they want to learn about what your children are learning about and then you teach them to be teachable so that they too can step into the shoes of other kids and learn what it is that their strengths are and praise them and honor them so that this th th they learn early on what it means to step into the shoes and praise another child rather than fight with them rather than try to get one up on them i think that's huge but helping them know their identity is the first place in making that happen